subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Sure, I'd be happy to provide you with a tutorial on deploying a Python Flask application using a production-ready WSGI server. In this tutorial, we'll use Gunicorn as the WSGI server, which is a popular choice for deploying Flask applications. Step 1, Install Flask and Gunicorn. Make sure you have Flask and Gunicorn installed. You can install them using pip. Step 2, Create a Flask app. Create a simple Flask application. Save the following code in a file named app.py. Step 3, Run locally with Flask's development server. Before deploying to production, let's ensure the application works locally. Run the following command. Visit http slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 5000 slash in your browser, and you should see hello, Flask. Step 4, Configure Gunicorn. Create a Gunicorn configuration file, for example, gunicorn underscore config dot py. This configuration tells Gunicorn to bind to all available network interfaces on port 8000 and use for worker processes. Adjust the values based on your server's specifications. Step 5, Run Gunicorn. Now, run Gunicorn with the following command. This tells Gunicorn to use the configuration from gunicorn underscore config dot py and run the app object from the app dot py file. Step 6, Access the application. Visit http slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 slash in your browser, and you should see the same hello, Flask, message. Gunicorn is now serving your Flask application. Step 7, Deploy to production. To deploy your Flask application in a production environment, you would typically use a reverse proxy like Minx or Apache to handle incoming requests and forward them to Gunicorn. Remember to secure your application, handle static files efficiently, and consider using process management tools like Supervisor or Systemd for better process control. That's it. You've successfully deployed a Flask application using Gunicorn as the production-ready WSG.